I'm super excited about this hunt. So last year I hit this spot, two different hunts, no, three different hunts. I got three gold rings, one silver ring, tons of clad, but I did hit it hard, but we had a new swim season and you just can't get it all. So let's see what I missed or what was freshly dropped. Okay, here's my first good target. Got me a penny. Now in an area like this, you would just want to dig any sound that you get. Because you just never know. Even a ring on edge, you wouldn't believe how crappy they can sound sometimes. And then these rocks, they like to wedge right in between them and sit on edge. So, Alright, I'll turn you on when I get something else. Well, I gotta admit, there's not as many signals as I'd hoped. I did better last year than I thought. There's a nickel. I did dig a couple pennies and a quarter, I didn't show you. I wasn't expecting that, got me a button. Yeah, I don't think it's old. All right, I think I got something cool here. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, look at that. It's like an old tribal pin or something. And that might actually be silver. I don't see it marked right now. Hmm. Well, that's pretty dang cool. I'll have to test that and see if that's silver. It was ringing a 23. So it seems a little low. Let's try it flat. Yeah. 22, 23, so, I don't know, probably not, but I'll let you know. Well, there's an old antique reel, that's pretty cool. Nice little piece of brass. Okay, so it's the next day, and I'm at a new dock I've never done, which is right, right, but right near the dock I did yesterday. I guess I just cleared that one out last year, which happens. Yeah, it's always good to go somewhere new if you can. But anyways, there's my first uh, target. Looks like I got me a quota. Okay, I've only been digging for just a few minutes. And I already have a couple pennies, a dime. And here's my second quarter. So, yeah, I don't think this has ever been hit before. This is awesome. So, you know, clad is a good indicator that, you know, a lot of people have been swimming here. So... Yeah, there's a good chance we're gonna get some jewelry, which is ultimately what we're here for. You know, the clads just kind of filler in between gold rings, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of coins here. I could never show them all to you, but this would be a <laughs> two-hour video. But uh, hey, here's a nickel, first one. You know, just as kind of an update, I'm just killing the clad, but I haven't got one piece of jewelry yet or any gold coins. But I'm gonna stick with it. Hopefully there's something here. I mean, perfect spot, see? Underneath a dock where everybody swims. But I like these rocks because if it falls down in there, the swimmer's probably not gonna get it back. It's just a matter of did somebody drop something. Well, you see them stars that get you going for a second. Then you flip it over. It's a token for video games. <laughs> Well, that was ringing nice, and look what it is. Half dollar. Boom, 1980. Yeah, we're getting so much clad, guys. It's crazy. All right, well, this is gonna be a junker, but I am not stumped. <laughs> uh, this is coming up a two. We'll just stay in there. And it says ST STS7. So that must be stainless steel number seven. Alright, boom. Okay, so pretty much everything in this wrap up is only from the second day. And I wanted to show you this because 
I felt like I was in the perfect situation. I had a new dock, new swimming area, water's low, you know, I was able to grid out all around the dock, under the dock, where people jump off. And I just thought, man, I'm gonna get something amazing. Well, as you can see, it's never been detected before, obviously, because look at the clad I got. These are rows of 10, so I got 10, 20, 30, 40, 44 quarters tonight. I got a half dollar. I got a Canadian nickel token. Look at all these regular nickels. I didn't bother to, you know, put the pennies out and the dimes out, but, you know, we probably have over 100 coins that I dug tonight, and I'm just shocked. I didn't get anything silver. I didn't get anything gold. I did get this uh, stainless steel ring. And then, of course, last night I was able to get this tribal jewelry. I'm not really sure exactly what it is. I don't know if that went on a ribbon or like it went on a strap. Like maybe if it was like for horse stuff. I'm not really sure. Um, I do believe this is a custom and... It does seem to be plated very well. Like, it's definitely high-quality silver plating. So, and not a lot of junk targets either. I mean, I did get some aluminum. But, you know, to me, every time I dig one of these pull tabs, that's a possible gold ring. Uh, yeah, but not a lot of junk targets tonight. Teeny bit of lead. But look at all that clad. Like, people are definitely swimming there. It's just crazy. I don't really know what to think about this hunt, but this is how things go sometimes. I mean, it definitely was set up perfectly. I mean, this is exactly the kind of scenario you're looking for to get a big chunky gold ring or something. It just didn't happen for me this time. So anyways, hopefully on the next hunt, I'll definitely be out there uh, a little bit more this weekend and all next week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button you want to see some more of this content and you know if you can throw up a comment or hit that like button definitely helps promote the channel thanks for watching guys